So once again, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, let's get started like we normally do. You've all done this before, short period of bell meditation. So let me give you a moment, get into a nice meditation posture, and then we'll begin at the sound of the bell. And I think Holly's going to be joining us here in a moment. Excellent. All right, give you a moment. We'll begin at the sound of the bell. I go for refuge to the Buddha, the teacher. I go for refuge to the Dhamma, the teaching. I go for refuge to the Sangha, the taught. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dhamma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I have taken refuge in the Buddha. I have taken refuge in the Dhamma. I have taken refuge in the Sangha. Three pure precepts. Cease to do harm. Do only good. Do good for others. Bodhisattva vow. However innumerable all beings are, I vow to lead them all. However inexhaustible my delusions are, I vow to extinguish them all. However immeasurable the Dharma teachings are, I vow to master them all. However endless the Buddha's way is, I vow to follow it completely. Swaha. Hello, Holly. Happy Friday. Glad you made it. Make sure I didn't miss anybody else. There. All right. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So it's Friday. It's the temple. It's the Buddha Center. It's us. Um, this was, gosh, this had to be three weeks ago or so. Somebody at a meeting asked about what brought me to Buddhism or why I chose Buddhism. 
And so I thought I'd touch on that today, and I don't remember who it was, and hopefully it's one of the folks that are sitting here now. Uh, so the question, I guess, boils down to the title that I used, Why the Noble Path? You know, why did you pick this path? Because, I mean, look around. There are lots of different paths we could take in life, right? I mean, a whole bunch of different paths. Um, so, it doesn't matter what path you pick, people are going to ask why, right? Why that particular path? And the noble path or the Buddhist path, whatever you want to call it, it's no different. But I want to start out with something that happens here in St. Louis. This is the... I've lived in many different cities across the world, and this is the only city I've ever lived in where whenever strangers meet, you can pretty much guarantee that one of the first three questions that will be asked is, what high school did you graduate from? And this is not said in a joking manner. This is pretty serious stuff for most folks. Because if you are found to have attended a rival school, you know, back in the day, or if you didn't, go to a rival school? The answers are important because they have a lot to do with what happens next in a relationship. Because uh, the answer can make or break that possible friendship. Get more than one Buddhist in a room and the question will arise, what brought you to Buddhism? Right? You may have been asked that yourself. Well, with this question, though, it isn't the answer that is really important. It is the willingness to answer the question that is important. I'm going to venture here to say that not one of you here today would reject the friendship of another person because they didn't come to Buddhism along the same path that you did. That just wouldn't be, hopefully, how you would deal with it, right? Uh, because why we came to Buddhism really isn't that important why we choose to continue to walk the noble path, that's what's really important. So when I get asked, why did you choose to be a Buddhist? Because it is a choice. My reply, and this is a reply that I used to fall back on, I found Buddhism because at a difficult time in my life, it offered a different way of thinking and acting in relation to how I was then. Well, there's a long answer, and quite frankly, it doesn't really answer the question that most people are asking when they say, why did you choose to be a Buddhist? What they're actually doing is they're asking a pragmatic question. It's a question that is meant to reveal to them what is useful and productive about being a Buddhist in the West. They just want to know, how does it help? How can this thing, this Buddhist practice, how can it help get them through life's many unique situations? Hello, Hannah. I saw somebody say, hi, Hannah. Happy Friday. So, and this is a legitimate question, right? How can Buddhist practice help? Good question. But having an honest answer requires me, and it will require you too, to listen deeply to yourself to really do some rigorous self-honesty about why you chose to be a Buddhist and why you choose to stay on the noble path. So looking at all this, you know, one of the ideas of a Buddhist practice is, you know, when, when you're engaging in a particular habit or disposition, uh, in this case, answering a question in a particular way, and uh, you want to think about it, right? You want to contemplate. You want to say, man, am I, am I really giving the best answer to this question that I can? And that's what I did. I, I kind of I thought about this. And uh, so I thought maybe a better answer for me, and it may work for you too, or something along this line, is I practice Buddhism because. That's the way it starts out now. I practice Buddhism because. Because within those four words is a major reason why I chose the noble path in the first place. I'm a human being, just like you. Hello, Joss. Welcome. Happy Friday. So I'm a human being, again, just like all of us, right? Even though we look like avatars right now. 
And I want to be an even better human being in this moment than I was in the previous moment. And I don't expect myself, oh, excuse me, I should also say Buddhism, this noble path, it offers me this opportunity to be that better human being through my practice. And I'm not expected to be perfect, and I'm not expected to have all the answers, but I am expected to keep practicing. That's part of the path. That's choosing the noble path. And yeah, I know, there's this saying, it says, practice makes perfect. But honestly, I have never seen any proof that practice makes perfect. In fact, in my experience, perfect is not even part of the agenda. Because in, in my experience over these years of, of being a Buddhist and, and being on the noble path, I found that practice just makes more practice. And I'm good with that. Because I know that when my practice makes more practice, then I'm refining my personal character, right? I'm, I'm being that better human being in each moment. Because for me, I, I discovered this a long time ago, it's not the doing. It's not, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that. It's not in what I have done so much as how I did it. Because we look at intent, right? We look at view, we look at effort, we look at mindfulness, right? We look at all these aspects of the Eightfold Path, and that's what's important, is how did I do it? And that's the question we need to ask ourselves about a lot of things, a lot of actions that we take. Why did I do that? Because it's in the doing that's important. And then the response, it starts out again, I practice Buddhism because. And the response finishes with, and you guys are really going to recognize this, what we do matters. I practice Buddhism because what we do matters. Now these are four words, what we do matters, that encapsulate for me the whole deal. Buddhist psychology, philosophy, and spirituality as I have come to realize it in my practice. The Four Ennobling Truths. We've all heard of them, right? This is about how our actions can be a cause of suffering, but they can also be the cause of the alleviation of suffering. Right? So, what we do matters. And then you've got the three characteristics of existence. Okay, this is a, the three characteristics of existence in Buddhism are suffering, impermanence, and the not suffering. Saying that these three characteristics are characteristics of being a human being. Right? We all suffer, all phenomena are impermanent, and we are a not self. All human beings suffer. So we aren't alone. Right? It may feel like sometimes we're alone, but we're not. Because all human beings suffer in some way or another. And since we're not alone, we can find like-minded people to connect with, and we can find help. The reality of impermanence, that all phenomena are always in a state of transformation, well, then that leads us to why not guide our transformation toward wholesome consequences. And that all human beings are not selves. That we, are, that we don't have a permanent self. We're always changing, right? We're a phenomenon. We're always transforming. So again, why not guide that toward wholesome transformation? I have not read a sutra or a legacy teaching or a Buddhist text that wasn't in some way, shape, or form sending the message, go do it. Practice. Take action. Walk, work, run, study, whatever it is. Sit is even an action. The ideal that what we do matters renews my own intent to be the best human being I can be. I want to cease to do harm because it matters. I want to do good 
because it matters. And I want to do good for others because it matters. So I practice Buddhism because what we do matters. Together, the answer reveals the I and the we. I practice what we do. Right? This is the interconnection between all phenomena. I am a Buddhist because my experience has proven to me that acting like a Buddhist and thinking like a Buddhist engenders positive effects, both for my personal well-being and for the well-being of the social environment around me. And combine my practice with friends, family, sangha, even consequential strangers, who also recognize that what we do matters. And we become a force for positive transformation that simply can't be equaled. There is a dark side, though, to what we do matters. And as a Buddhist, you've got to view this realistically. The negative actions of others, and of ourselves too, let's throw ourselves in there, also matter. Right? And we, whether we're Buddhist or not, doesn't matter. We must not hesitate to act appropriately and decisively whenever we can, so we can mitigate the negative consequences that can arise. Now, as Buddhists, we might call them karmic consequences. Non-Buddhists wouldn't call them that, right? But they would still be negative consequences. We can't control the thoughts and actions of others. No big surprise, right? But we can control what we do and how we react to the results of the actions of others. You've heard me talk about plurality before. And acting pluralistically is the I and we. The we in the equation may not always be Buddhist, as I said before. But it makes no difference, really, what faith, religion, or tradition another person is they are part of that we. What we do matters. So commitments might differ, but the goal of alleviating suffering, that's what matters. So again, Buddhist or not, if the goal is, again, in some way, shape, or form, to promote the alleviation of suffering, the promotion of human flourishing, happiness, health, and harmony, that's good. That is part of the we. And then taking action is highlighted in the words practice and do. I practice, we do. Now, am I a Buddhist because I take action, or do I take action to be a Buddhist? Doesn't matter. Because both are more likely to result in positive karmic consequences. Because I'm combining taking action with doing that as a Buddhist. Because Buddhism is all about action. That's what karma means. Karma just simply means action. So the psychology, philosophy, and spirituality of Buddhism has roots, beginning with the Four Nobling Truths, in action. It takes personal action to realize the reality of suffering, and it takes engaged action to realize the alleviation of suffering. The Eightfold Path, it guides me to actions that will improve how I am and how I can be an agent of positive transformation in the world around me. And then the two words in the middle, they have their significance. I am a unique factor in the causal process of the universe. And the word because, that's all about causality, right? This happened because that happened, and that happened because this happened. Right? So because is another way to just say causality. And I practice to be cause, right? or if, you want, if you'd rather be a cause, 
of more positive than negative ingredients in this karmic stew that we're always making as we go through life. Each moment, each experience and situation are also unique factors, so I'm mindful of the what. What is the reality of the situation and what would be the most harmonious action to take now? So the eight word sentence is a mirror of what keeps me on the path. I didn't read this anywhere. This is something that, that I've developed myself over all these years. Action and responsibility, being the cause of good, the I and we of pluralism, do something. Actions have karmic consequences, so each action matters. So, most of you guys know, my personal mantra is what we do matters. Right, those four words. And, and you're welcome to make, them, make it yours if, if it affects you the way it does me. Uh, but you could also add to it, I practice Buddhism because what we do matters. That could be the answer to the question when people ask you. But then, of course, they're going to say, oh, what does that mean? What we do matters. Then you've got a conversation going. So ask yourself, why am I a Buddhist? Ask it of yourself before someone else asks, why are you a Buddhist? Because you've got to get ready. And without the ability to be honest with yourself about the answer, your chance of having a deep Buddhist practice is kind of slim. Because if you can't be honest with yourself about why you're doing it, doing it's not going to work out very well. Cur curiosity, desire, life experience or wanting to be cool might have caused you to look into Buddhism. That's all right. But why you continue when it takes so much effort and so much commitment and so much practice, that's what is more important. It is there you will find the depth of your practice and what you can do to enhance it. So I end with this. I picture Siddhartha. I like to picture Siddhartha sitting under the Bodhi tree. You know, he's been sitting there meditating, and finally he's awakened, right? And he thinks to himself, wow, what we do matters. All right, questions, comments?